Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to one minute tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to get loads of power on the serve with very little effort. And I want to discuss a problem that's confused me for many years because I've got a really quick arm when I serve, but I've met many players who have a slow arm when they serve and they still serve very powerfully. I want to show you why and how you can serve powerfully even without a very fast throwing arm and how you can add speed and effortless power to your serve when you understand how this is done. Now we know when we serve that most of the power comes from the arm. And a big key to this is that we let the racket drop into the scratch your back position. There's a big difference between me placing it there muscularly and strongly, and now the racket is inert, or allowing the racket to drop and the energy of the drop converts into potential energy, which before it finishes the drop, I gather it up and I swing. And the smoother and quicker we can make that motion, then the more effective the transfer of energy and the more power we get. But that doesn't answer the question as to why some players seem to have a slower arm and still a powerful serve. And also, when I slow my arm down, the ball doesn't really listen. The ball still goes quickly. So what's happening and why? And the answer is really simple. We're focusing on the racket drop and not the drop of the arm. You see, if I think about the racket drop, then what I'm doing is I'm literally dropping from the hand there. And the racket weighs about 300 grams, but my arm weighs about 1,600 grams. And so if instead of thinking about dropping the racket, I think about dropping the arm from the elbow, then now I have much more energy and force turning into potential energy which I can convert to kinetic energy when I begin the upswing to the ball. And this is what people who have a slower arm but still serve very powerfully are actually doing. So to help you do that, let's just do a little simple exercise. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put my hand onto my shoulder here. And I can feel it and it's easy. And I placed it there. I used all the muscles in my arm to do it. And now I'm gonna let my arm drop to the shoulder there. And I just let it drop. And you can see it's kind of floppy. And now with the racket, I'm going to place the racket down here. And now I'm going to let the racket and the arm just flop down into this position. And when I do that, naturally my elbow raised. I didn't raise it. It just came up. So now I'm going to make that into the serve. I'm going to really feel this movement that from the elbow, the arm and the racket drop together. And they drop. And now what I'm going to do is allow them to drop. And as I feel that the drop is just about to finish, I'm going to swing forwards into the service stroke. So allow the drop and serve. And allow the drop and serve. And from this position, I now have a very, very powerful motion. I can feel it. You'll feel it as well if you try this. So focus on releasing the arm and the racket. Remember, the racket's about 300 grams. The arm's about 1,600. A typical male arm is something in that kind of weight. And then the extra weight, the extra mass will create way more power and way more energy. You'll serve harder with less effort, even if you're not blessed with a super fast throwing arm. I hope this makes sense. It's a real game changer and it really will add loads of power into your serve. And it's really easy to do. And if you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. The books break down the game into very specific sciences with the anatomy, the physics and the biomechanics, and then really simple and unique solutions such as this. They're clearly illustrated to make it as easy as possible for you to take your game to the next level. Or have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. I'm helping players in over 35 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and then personalized lessons such as this. So remember, dropping the racket is important, but dropping the racket and the arm is the secret source of power that will make you serve incredibly hard with very, very little effort. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.